Hi, everybody. We're going to be going up to the cabin for about a week. My poor hubby's going to have to work the whole time we're up there, but... Well, I'm going to be doing work, too, but it's going to be the fun kind of work. Gardening. Anyway, I wanted to give you a quick tour of my Florida garden here uh, before I go, because I never know what it's going to look like when I come back. So, uh, let's get going. This is potato patch number one. I planted red and white potatoes here during the second week of February. They used, this used to be my asparagus patch. I dug up all the roots to take to the cabin for planting. However, I just spotted an escapee. Did you see it? <laughs> that bare spot that you see was caused by fire ants. They made a big mound in there and I treated it. And then they moved over to my tomato patch. And look at them. The stuff I put down didn't hurt them one bit. And I've treated them again. And they are not hurting. This is purple TP bush beans. I love the color of the blossoms. As you can see from the packet, the beans are dark purple. They're supposed to be stringless too. Another really cool thing about these beans is that they grow high above the foliage, which will make it really easy to harvest. I planted some more uh, Cherokee purple and black cream tomatoes too to take to the cabin. There's my basil. And there's my tomato patch in the background. And guess what? I got my first tomato of the season. Let me show you. There she is. Isn't she a beauty? My anise hyssop is blooming. Bruce Cloudier had sent me the seeds. They took a long time to germinate and they were slow growing while they were in the containers. But once I got them in the ground, they took off. I'm so glad Bruce sent them to me because they are just beautiful and the tea is just wonderful. Here's potato patch number two. I planted them the third week of February. They are Kenny Beck and several other varieties. They look like they're doing pretty well to me. What do you think? On my first trellis here, I have snow peas. And on the second trellis, I had planted greasy beans, but as soon as they came out of the ground, something ate them. So I replaced them with purple potted pole beans. And you can see from the packet, they are just incredible looking. I cannot wait to see what they taste like. I only have a couple bananas fruiting right now. They all got hit so hard by the freeze. I harvested another group yesterday, which you'll see soon when I take you in the house. It was from that one on the far left-hand corner. But what I'm really hoping for is this real tall one that you see in the background there that looks half dead. That's a banana. That's an ice cream banana. It's supposed to taste like vanilla ice cream. I harvested another bunch of bananas, and the battery was dead in my camera, so I couldn't show you me cutting it. But they're very easy to cut. Um, I just you just get a saw, and it just slips right through it almost. Anyway. I'm going to be taking most of these up to the cabin. We have the relatives up there I want to give some to. And it's going to take a little while for them to ripen. Every spring when the color begins to appear in my shade gardens, it makes me feel hopeful. With each new season, there is a renewal of life and a promise of a better tomorrow. When I'm at the cabin, I'll make more videos and I will answer some of the questions you've asked me over the last several months. Thanks so much for your support. I appreciate it so much when you comment and like and share. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. God bless.